Today we are going to take a look at YouTube Essential Library Pack for DaVinci Resolve and there is a giveaway as well. So stick around and I'll tell you how you can win any of these packs. Now this pack is crafted beautifully by Easy Edit Pro. If you don't know about them, they create templates for After Effects, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. They have been rated as elite level author on Video Hive as well. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's take a look at this YouTube Essential Library. So before we begin, just make sure you download and extract your file and after you do that this is what you'll have all these folders and files now the first thing you want to do is go to the fonts folder and just double click on this file and it'll take you to this link where you can download this font and uh, just download it and install this font and then you can uh, install the project files or you can use these project files so to install this you can see we have this drfx file and to install it, it's pretty simple. So just open up your DaVinci Resolve and go into the Fusion page. And inside the Fusion page, you just simply drag and drop this DRFX file. So in my case, I have already installed these pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Cancel. But for you, it will ask you to install. So just click on that button. And once you do that, then all you have to do is go back to Edit page. And then you just go to Effects. And... In the effects tab, you can just make sure you highlight the toolbox over here. Make sure uh, none of these are highlighted. Just make sure the toolbox is highlighted. And in the search, you just type in EE. And that's it. You can see all of the easy edit uh, templates inside your effects library over here. So we have some amazing uh, looking templates inside this pack. There is background, bumper, comment, credits, elements end screens, subscribe animations, info bar, infographics, links, and lower thirds. And we have some openers as well, Instagram stories, and some flat transitions, and some typography animations as well. So we'll take a look at it one by one. So let's start off with our background. So as you can see, there are four different backgrounds over here. You can scroll over this, and you can see how they look. So this is the third background and this one is the fourth one. So you can pick any background from here. So let's use this second background. If you want to change uh, the look of it, you can go to inspect over here and you can easily change the color. So such as the likes color, you can just pick any color from here and you can change the background color as well. And that is pretty much it. That's how easy it is to customize it. Now you can even stretch it out if you want. and it will match up with the uh, new duration. So let's uh, get rid of this and uh, see something else. So we have these bumper animations as well. They look really cool and uh, professionally animated. So I kind of like this one, bumper 01. Again, you can stretch it out if you want to. As you can see, we have our video at the background and our uh, bumper animation in a new layer. And you can see how it looks. You can easily change the text. So in the text field over here, you can type in anything that you want. And you can do the same thing in the second text field as well. And um, pretty much use any font that you want. You can change the color and uh, stuff like that. And you can do the same, with, same thing with uh, the bottom text as well. And there is also this color one over here, which is the color for the logo over here. So you can click on that and uh, pretty much change it to any color that you want. And then the color two is for the background color over here. So you can also uh, pick any color, something like that. I know it look, it's looking ugly, but if you have a, a channel branding, you can, you know, uh, use those colors for, for, you, for these animations. All right, that is looking nice. So let's uh, get rid of this and see something else, such as uh, the comments over here. And ooh, we have this nice pop-up message animation so let's use that okay so again we have uh, these animations let's stretch it out and see what happens um yep it's pretty responsive as well so that is a plus point and you can change the text over here so you can type in cool now it would have been really cool <laughs> if you were able to change the height and the width of these text message boxes but uh yeah you can maybe increase the size if you want to do that 
and uh, there are some other settings as well with related to text and you can change the bubble color as well so just click off a button you can change the look of your messages i really like it let's move on with the next uh, animation we have so it's the credits and you can see how they look and yeah they're quite beautiful let's use these let's use credits to drag it in and you can see how it looks animates out at the end and again you can stretch it out uh, again we have two text boxes so the first text box is for the content which is on the left side so you can replace director with something else such as vfx right uh, replace the text if you want to add more you can do that so after editor you make sure that there is a space in between the text so then we can type in something like um yeah let's do director why not all right so once you type in you can see the director pops up at the bottom then you have to go to your second text box over here and type in uh, the name of your director so i'm gonna say john doe the best director in the entire world that's how easy it is to customize it and uh, again you can change the font and that's pretty self-explanatory you can change the size if you want the line spacing as well if you want and the text positioning as well you can do that right over here background color you can also change that if you want to text one color you can change pretty much every setting over here and is looking pretty great all right so let's get rid of this and use another element over here and uh, so we have these uh, nice motion graphic elements and you can use uh, these to enhance the look of your videos and we have lots of elements in here we have some arrows going on some shape burst animations so you can just drag it in and uh, customize the colors and everything okay so that's looking pretty neat okay so now let's take a look at some end screens over here you can scrub over and you can see how they look and right now there are three end screens in total i kind of like the very first one so i'm going to drag that in and as you can see we have our video behind this end screen so if i disable and enable it this is how it's going to look so let's uh, use this end screen and create one of our own so i'm going to select this video layer which is at the bottom and i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to try and fit it inside this box at the top right corner so just place it anywhere that you want i'm going to place it in this box and there you go you have your video footage inside this box and i can go to my media pool drag in another clip and make sure that your end screen is all remains always at the top and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the attributes from the previous layer i'm going to go to the new layer over here and right click on it and click on paste attributes and i'm going to make sure that i check all of these video attributes over here and click on apply and now once you've done that then you can see that the video is now exactly on the same position all you have to do is just reduce the or maybe change the y position so that it is in the box below it i'm going to move this to a new track again and i'm going to use an image for our subscribe my channel image over here so again i'm going to move the position and simply place it in the middle i can just you know scale it down and change its position so something like that so there you go you have this nice looking end screen and you can select the end screen and you know change the text over here maybe for facebook you can type in your username and stuff like that okay so let's get rid of this the next one we have is frames and let's use this one and as you can see we have to reset the previous uh, changes that we made on the video so let's click on these two icons to reset it so this is our animation for the frames and you know you can stretch it out as well if you want to you can customize it as well you can customize the colors there you go so you can instantly improve the quality of your videos by using these frames i can already imagine using these um, in my videos as well the next one is info bar and there are quite a few info bars over here so you can go and scroll through each of these and see what 
works best for you for example i can use uh, this info bar over here the info bar number four and five so if i drag in number four place it on the track so let's say on the left side i have the do's and i can drag in info bar number five and this will be don'ts so i can easily change the position by going into the settings and change the position of it so maybe move it to the right side over here and i can create a list of it so i can duplicate info bar four again hold the alt key and just move it to a new track and just simply change its position and we have another uh, list of uh, do's and i can duplicate info bar number five move it down and i have a li another list of don'ts so i can repeat this process and uh, right now they will be animating at the same time but if you want you can select these two at the top and just move it forward a little bit and then they'll come one after the other let's go into infographics let's actually use one of these and you can see that they are pretty neatly animated and designed as well so i'm actually going to use infographic number three now if you select it and you can go to your info infographics in the inspector then you can see that we have this percentage control over here so you can use this slider and set any percentage that you want and it will be updated in your main animation you can change the colors of different elements inside this so yeah the possibilities are really endless so i'm going to leave it to your creativity so let's uh, re remove this and use something else all right so we have some social media links as well honestly they look very very clean so let's use this one and see how that looks all right so you can type in the name of your channel all right and yeah you can change the color and all the different stuff but i think the default values look very good so i'm going to leave it as it is so yeah they can use these links as well there is tiktok as well youtube instagram facebook so uh, yeah you can use any one that you want all right the next one is lower third lower thirds are really important so let's check out one of these let's use the very first one over here and you can see that how neat it looks you can pretty much change any text that you want the font as well so it's the it's the same thing you can change it to anything so let's type in all right so you can see that the animation will still work so um there are 22 lower thirds that you can use in this pack okay so now we have some i guess we should call it end screen as well crawl over it and see how it looks you can you know put your videos in here as i showed you before you can you know scale it down and place it in these two boxes you can change the text pretty much easily and change the color and whatnot all right so you can do that let's move on to something else okay so this is another animation over here so kind of like a small intro animation for your youtube there are around nine of these so you can pick any one that you want i like this one over here which has this animated icon of youtube so i can just play it and see how it looks and in this opener one since i have selected it i don't know why there are text boxes in this um since i don't see any text in this animation oh uh, we have to stretch it out then you'll be able to see the uh, entire animation okay i was like worried for a moment there but yeah so you move forward in time and just stretch it out and then you'll see the entire animation i think it is around 15 seconds long so uh, you can use that for your youtube channel as well so every item can be animated inside this pack then we have quotes again pretty simple you can put in your text and change the color and stuff like that uh, the thing over here is the instagram story that i want to show you so if you just drag it in you can see that it's pretty um, distorted right now you can see the text overlapping and uh, it's not you're not able to see it properly and the reason for that is because we need to be in that aspect ratio so that we can use these stories clearly and uh, to do that we have to go to settings and you have to change the timeline resolution you have to 
set 1080 for the width and 1920 for the height and click on save and now you'll be able to see your instagram story working properly right for the video you just have to you know scale it up and fill it in like so okay so they that's how you can use instagram stories you have to make sure that you change the timeline resolution so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch back to my landscape view which is 1920 1080 16 by 9 click on save and yep so i'm going to remove this because uh, uh, the settings over here is pretty much simple you can change the text and the color and stuff like that like element color as well next thing is the subscribe animation and i like the very first one so let's use that okay so you can change the colors so instead of gray you can make it yellow and instead of red at the beginning you can make it i don't know blue and uh, yep yeah. so you can change the text over here subscribe for example instead of subscribe you can type in i don't know button and uh, it will change to the next text which is subscribe okay so that is your subscribe elements then we have some transitions flat transitions which are pretty important um, for your videos i really like the transition six um, gives kind of netflix vibes so i'm gonna use that and it's you can see what happens over here so the thing you want to do is whenever your the transition covers your screen that is the time where you want to split your clip right you split it and then you bring in your next footage so i'm gonna go to my media pool and bring in this footage over here so the transition takes place from one clip to another like so right so you can pretty much change the color as well and you have it let's go back to our effects over here and finally we have the typography elements and use these to emphasize any topic you can pick anyone that you want such as this one um let's use this this is how it's going to look you can you know pretty much change any text that you want okay so this is how it's going to look you can change any text the color and you can also change the position you can go to settings and uh, you know play around with the position and all that stuff all right so that's pretty much it and this pack also contains uh, some sound effects as well so if you go to this project files folder you have sound effects over here and to import these inside davinci resolve it's pretty simple you go to sound library over here click on the c dot menu and click on add library and you browse for the location the same location where you extracted these files so i'm just going to find that folder open that up and go to project files and you have sound effects select this folder and click on this button select folder and now you can into the search field type in ee underscore and you should see these uh sound effects pop up in this window so you can simply drag any one of these into the audio track and you'll be able to play it now for the giveaway Easy Edit Pro were generous enough to run a giveaway for subscribers of this channel. All you have to do is visit their website, choose the template you like, write in the comment box of this video which pack you want, and that's it. Only subscriber of this channel will be eligible for the giveaway. Winner will be announced in two weeks' time on the channel's community page or on the Easy Edit IG story. Alright, that is the wrap for today's video. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, do let me know in the comments below. Other than that, if this video is helpful, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.